I'm going to go on record saying that I believe that human creation is a fundamental characteristic of humanness. And by that I don't mean that we were created, but that we are largely creative. Because I believe that we express our emotions and thoughts, which result from you know, our, our appreciation of contrast and difference through the creation of arts and, and literature. I think that that we tell stories and we write poems and we paint pictures because we understand that the world is not exactly as we always perceive it to be but that it can be expressed differently and we we exhibit our understanding of that by telling things that are not true or writing things differently so that they express ideas and emotions that uh, we don't necessarily see or experience every day so I believe that human beings whether it's it's uh, simply a story you tell your child at bedtime to painting masterpieces um, or designing buildings. I believe that all human beings are creative to some extent. I also believe that human beings are communal, social in nature, and that uh, the, the survival of early hominids depended upon our ability to connect with each other and depend on each other. And so I think that these two traits have been um, innate within us for millennia. And so we have, through our technological development, always used these mediums to express our creativity and to connect and largely to share our, our creativity with one another. So when we began to tell stories around the campfire, when we began to write letters to other people, to mass producing books that can be sent around the world in multiple languages to share our ideas and our creations with a large anonymous population that we have been doing the same thing that we're doing now with Web 2.0 technology. And I think that this is the point that, or one of the points that Andrew Keane is missing in his book, uh, The Cult of the Amateur, which I, which I mentioned in my last video I was reading and I, I've completed now and I'm still digesting some of my thoughts from that. But I think that you know, uh, someone who is not a professional, i.e. the amateur that he discusses, um, is still a creative person and that we have always been expressing our creativity and sharing it with others and that whether it is uh, doing a skit on YouTube or, um, you know, re recapping the news in, in a humorous or funny or intriguing manner, uh, that this is, this is creativity and that this is a way by which we share it with one another. And I think that that is those are two fundamental human instincts. So, well, maybe not instincts, but characteristics. So I think that YouTube and blogging and things like this are not destructive forces uh, within our modern culture, but merely uh, just another means by which we create and share with one another. And I've come to this conclusion also through my viewing of blog TV. As I said in my last video, I've been watching some Ustream and some blog TV. Uh, I've watched a number of different shows now from a number of different uh, broadcasters because I was looking to see if there was a, a common thread, to see if there was uh, a commonality in the content or in the kind of person who would feel comfortable with sharing aspects of their daily lives with, uh, with hundreds or even thousands of anonymous viewers. Because for me, uh, to be honest, it, it's, it's somewhat... Um, unusual. I find that the, the idea of um, a live broadcast with people, because I've, I've watched, I've watched uh, Philly D work on his show and eat a sandwich. I've watched uh, Go Green 18 raise uh, over $2,000 for charity. To, but for me, it, it's analogous to uh, living in a glass house uh, made out of one-way glass that allows the outside world to see in but the people on the inside not to see out, to see who's looking or who's watching. And that, that evokes a, a sense of voyeurism that leaves me uh, largely um, flummoxed. And so I, I'm, I'm trying to understand what it is that would compel somebody to do that. And I, think, and I think that this is what it is. I think that it is we are creative, that Philly D's recapping of stories and, and adding his little touch to it is a creative expression. And that sharing it with others and connecting with other people is a fundamental human characteristic. And so we, we use this medium 
to do what we've always done when it comes to relating with each other, with sharing. And I think that that is, I think that is fundamental to who we are, and I believe that uh, it, it is largely a good thing. I don't believe it's destroying our culture. So I'm, I'm still largely devoid of responses or dialogues with other people. Uh, I'm still using this as a, a video journal or diary of my own YouTube experience. And I'm now answering my own questions. So if you, I would be, I would be pleased if you've watched the video to this point to share your ideas. Do you, do you think I'm missing the boat here? Do you think that uh, human beings are not innately creative or do, do not largely desire to connect and to, you know, share with other people? Um, or do you think that I'm missing something here? So that's, that's why I truly believe in human creation because I think we're compelled to do it and we're compelled to share. And that's what we're doing here on YouTube and Blog TV and, and Blogspot and, and Twitter. We're connecting and we're sharing with one another. And so this is my effort in, in sharing my ideas, my creations with with a large, uh, well, not large, um, with uh, myself and a few other people who view it. So thank you and uh, see you next time.